California Consumer Privacy Act, or CCPA, protects consumers' personal information collected by businesses. Consumers now have the right to know what personal information is collected, to whom their personal information is sold, and can say no to the sale of their information. Companies are subject to the law if they are a for-profit entity doing business in the state of California and any of the following apply. The company's gross annual revenue is above $25 million. The company derives 50% or more of its annual revenue from the sale of California consumers' personal information. The company annually buys, receives, sells, or shares for commercial purposes the personal information of 50,000 or more California consumers, households, or devices. The law applies even if the business is located outside of California. The same requirements for compliance apply to companies globally that do business in the state of California to the extent they process data of California residents. The law also applies to any entity that's controlled by or controls a business that meets the prior criteria and shares common branding with that business. CCPA restrictions are not applicable to businesses that collect or sell the personal information of a consumer if every element of that transaction takes place wholly outside of California. This means a California consumer's personal information collected while the consumer was outside of California may be sold. Consumers passing through California on vacation or to complete a particular transaction are deemed to be in the state for temporary purposes and thus are not protected by the CCPA. The CCPA doesn't apply to information subject to federal regulation. This includes the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, or HIPAA, the Graham-Leach-Bliley Act, or GLBA, the Fair Credit Reporting Act, or FCRA, or the Driver's Privacy Protection Act, or DPPA. This law is also not intended to interfere with the right to organize collective bargaining under the National Labor Relations Act. Also exempt is any activity involving compliance with the Medical Information Act or a consumer's credit worthiness, credit standing, or credit capacity. Vehicle information or ownership information retained or shared between a new motor vehicle dealer and vehicle's manufacturer is exempt. following personal information is protected by the CCPA. Identifiers such as real name, alias, postal address, social security numbers, driver's license, and passport information. Telephone numbers, account names, IP addresses, cookies, and pixel tags. Professional or employment-related information and education information. Biometric data, including face, retina, voice recordings, fingerprints, DNA, psychometric data, sleep patterns, and health data. Audio, electronic, visual, thermal, and olfactory information. Geolocation data like location history on devices and internet activity such as browsing history. Religious or political convictions and sexual preferences. Electronic network activity information, including a California resident's interaction with an internet website, application, or advertisement. Records of personal property, products, or services purchased or considered, or other purchasing histories or tendencies. Even data that's not by definition personal information might fall under the category. This includes information inferred to create profiles reflecting consumers' preferences, psychological trends, predispositions, behavior, attitudes, abilities, and aptitudes. Consumers have the right to know what personal information is collected about them and the purpose.
This includes categories of sources where information is collected and categories of third parties where information is shared. If businesses collect additional information about the consumer, whether sold or disclosed or not, they have to inform the consumer. Upon verifiable request, businesses must disclose and deliver the consumer's personal information free of charge, delivered electronically or by mail. A business does not have to provide information to a consumer more than twice in a 12-month period. This does not require a business to retain personal information collected for a one-time transaction if the information is not sold. The right not to be discriminated against prohibits businesses from discriminating against a consumer for exercising any of their consumer's rights. The consumer has the right of no retaliation following an opt-out or exercise of other rights. Examples of this are denying goods or services, charging different prices, or imposing penalties. The right to notification of financial incentive makes it legal for businesses to notify and offer consumers financial incentives for collection of personal information. Incentives may include a different price, rate, level, or quality of goods or services to the consumer when that price or difference is directly related to value of the consumer's data they provide. The consumer has the right to opt out of the sale of their information. Businesses must make available a clearly visible Do Not Sell My Personal Information link on the homepage. A business cannot sell or share the personal information of consumers if the business has knowledge that the consumer is less than 16 years of age without consent from a parent or guardian. Parents have the right to control information collected, sold, or shared about their young children and can demand this information be erased. Right to delete allows consumers to request that a business delete any of their personal information the business has collected. Upon verifiable receipt, businesses must delete that information and direct service providers to delete the information from their records. Exceptions include delete requests that inhibit the completion of scientific, historical, or statistical research or an existing transaction. A business is not required to comply with a consumer delete request, which applies to a student's grades, educational scores, or educational test results. Law enforcement with an approved investigation and active case number may direct a business to not delete a consumer's personal information for 90 days. Update data inventories to track the sale of information, information transferred to third parties, and personal information covered by HIPAA, FCRA, or any law that exempts data from CCPA scope. Provide notice to consumers at or before the point of collection the purpose of collecting the consumer's personal information. Also, inform them of their right to opt out of having their information sold. This notice must be disclosed in the business's online privacy policy or any California-specific description of consumers' privacy rights. This information must be updated every 12 months. Businesses must also track all consumer rights requests, such as a verified request for information and when it was collected. Information collected more than 12 months prior is exempt. Businesses must implement protocols to ensure all of the consumer rights discussed earlier in this program. Businesses must make reasonable security updates to protect data from hackers and security breaches. Businesses that have other companies process their data will need to update third-party processor agreements. In addition, those third parties will need to design their own processes to accommodate consumer requests to opt out. Third parties, service providers, or contractors are obligated to follow all CCPA provisions for requests, privacy opt-outs, personal information, and sensitive information. They must notify the business if it makes a determination that it can no longer meet its obligations. 
In a merger, acquisition, or bankruptcy where a third party assumes control, they must notify the consumer of changes of use for the collected information so consumers can exercise their choices. The organization must disclose the consumer's right to request correction of inaccurate information. A business that receives a verifiable request to correct inaccurate information must use reasonable efforts to correct it. The CCPA requires training for employees handling consumer inquiries to be informed of all requirements to ensure timely processing, responding, monitoring, and updating of the data. Businesses cannot contact consumers who opted out of the sale of their information to reconsent before 12 months of opting out has passed. Businesses must ensure that the opt-in link is not part of a pop-up, banner, or other intrusive design obscuring any part of the web page the consumer intended to visit. It also must not interfere with the consumer's experience visiting or browsing the website. The opt-in link must not require or imply that the consumer click the link to receive full functionality of any products or services and applies only to the business the consumer intends. Businesses must make available to consumers at least two methods to submit requests for information, including a toll-free telephone number and a website address if they own a website. The provisions of the CCPA are not limited to information collected electronically or over the Internet, but apply to the collection and sale of all personal information collected by businesses from consumers. Businesses must have protocols in place to respond to verifiable requests free of charge and within 45 days of receiving them. Businesses may be charged penalties as high as $7,500 per violation and civil damages of $750 or more per violation. Consumers may file lawsuits when their non-encrypted or non-redacted personal information is breached. A CCPA plaintiff is obligated to inform the California Attorney General of the situation within 30 days of filing a CCPA lawsuit. As of January 1, 2020, the CCPA demands companies to be compliant in the collection and sale of Californians' consumer data. If your organization meets the requirements of the CCPA, make sure employees are trained to ensure compliance. Make sure that everyone in your organization is fully aware of your compliance obligations and takes the time to properly handle consumer data in your organization.